Hey everyone, welcome to Tech Connect. I'm Rivers and today I want to show you a new mini PC by Minix called the Z83-4. This is a fully functional computer which can fit right in the palm of your hand. It's got a fanless design so it generates zero noise while running. Inside it's got an Intel Cherry Trail processor with snappy performance and it comes with lots of connectivity options. Now let's take a closer look. Here's a look at what comes inside of the box. So you get the mini PC itself, a high quality power supply, an HDMI cable, and a small manual. You'll probably want some of the basics that go along with most computers such as a mouse, this one's a Bluetooth mouse, a keyboard, a USB thumb drive or portable hard drive, and maybe an optional remote like this one for Minix if you want to use it as a media player. It's even got a keyboard on the back which comes in handy in Windows. Now the Z83-4 would make a great retail or office PC. You could stick it on the back of a monitor for an all-in-one PC with a clean look, or you could use it as a Plex Media server, as well as just using it for a standard PC for everyday use. Oh, and by the way, if you wanted to use the Z83 in a business or retail area, it's got what's called a Kensington security slot, which you can attach an anti-theft system with a special lock, and it secures to the internals of the device. Now let's talk about one of my favorite features of the Z83, and that is the quality. It's one of the nicer mini PCs I've ever tested. The material on the outside feels great, and the bottom is made out of aluminum. This helps keep it cool with its fanless design. Minix actually used a lot of high quality components in this player. Unlike some Windows mini PCs, Minix used a fully licensed version of Windows 10 64-bit. The components inside are higher quality too, like the inclusion of gigabit ethernet, and full dual band AC Wi-Fi. And of course, the Z83 gives you many ports including three USB 2.0 ports and one USB 3.0 port. You can even charge your smartphone with the USB 3.0 part when the PC is completely off. Here are the other ports on the device. There's the Gigabit Ethernet, HDMI 1.4, which can go up to 4K at 30 frames per second, and a mini display port, so you can put two monitors on this if you have a display port monitor, or I'll put in a link to an adapter that will work on there in the description down below. And the headphone output, which also doubles as a microphone input if you have Samsung or Apple headphones. On the other side, you've got a total of four USB ports, as well as a micro SD card slot and your power button. The Z83 boots up really fast. Here you can see I've got a timer, but I've sped it up and it boots up in under 30 seconds, so nice work there. And check this out, I hooked the mini PC up to a watt meter during boot up, and it's only using five watts of power while it's booting, and once you get into Windows, it actually only uses about two or three watts of power. That's considerably better than the regular PC that I'm using to edit this video on, which uses over 200 watts of power whenever it's on. So you really won't have to worry about using much power if you leave this thing on all the time. Probably my favorite use of this mini PC by far is an HTPC or home theater PC. Um, it plays video very nicely. Here is a 4K H.265 video playing perfectly smooth in Kodi. So I hooked it up in my home theater room to my Epson projector and it worked great. Video playback was nice and smooth, but my only complaint was with the Minix remote. You have to hold the button down for about half a second to select something. So maybe I could adjust that with a double click speed, but other than that, the playback was awesome as a home theater PC. And finally, a quick benchmark and comparison. I used Geekbench, which tests all sorts of performance from ray tracing to JavaScript to web page rendering, and it gives you a pretty good idea of how it's gonna handle. The Z83 scored 2304, which is not bad. For comparison, the Minix NGC1, which is like Minix's premium HTPC, scored 2747, so pretty similar. Actually, I think the Z83 is a little bit more responsive and snappy than the NGC1, but the Z83 has less onboard storage, so that probably explains some of the price difference. And finally, the Z83 has a pretty nice price. I'll have a link to it in the video description down below as soon as it becomes available. The only real downside was that it only comes with 32 gigs of onboard storage, but I think that's a limit to the way the Windows licensing works. You have to pay more if you want to have more storage than that. To me, it's not that big of an issue though because I can just plug in a thumb drive or a USB hard drive and have whatever media I want on those. Hope you enjoyed my review of the Minix Z83-4. If you like this video and want to see more like it, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. That'll help me out a ton. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, a big aloha.